I believe that Allah is the black man, true indeed. If you're saying that Allah is black, divinity is black, wouldn't that be unfair and unjust on God's end to make one race better than the other? Of course, a black man is God. To think that a race is better than another race shows that God has preferred a race over others and that means he's unjust. Everyone in the sight of Allah, in sight of God, is equal. You actually blew my mind, I, I can't answer that. Street, street Dawa. It's here, Times Square, Street Dawa, you know what it is. You see it, right? You see it? MashaAllah, barakallah, guys. All thanks to Allah, but also you guys out there supporting with the Patreon, guys. Keep supporting with Patreon. We're able to do these small little upgrades. All thanks to Allah. Let's go over here, guys. Today we have an awesome video for you. Appreciate all those who are subscribing. We appreciate this guy, too. We love you guys as well. You're wondering about the merch? It's coming soon. Say something, Doha. It's coming soon. It's coming soon, baby. Coming soon. Stay tuned for that. You see the merch. We love you. Excuse me, sir. Quick question for you. Uh, does dying scare you? Yeah. No. Not really. I don't really think about it too much, to be honest with you. No. no. Why? He's, he's scared. Clearly. Scared. Why? <laughs> yeah, so why don't you have that fear? Why is it that you're okay with that? Because life is life. Like, I don't know. Sometimes we're gonna die. So live life until you die. Yeah, just in the moment. Yeah. Tell me more. Why? Because uh, I don't want to die the wrong way. Like, I don't want to die in a wrong position. Like, I want to die by natural causes. So what do you think uh, means the, the right position versus the wrong position? What does that mean? Gang violence is the wrong position to die. Do you support that? Nah. No. Against it? Yeah. Okay, but what about the music that you listen to? Does that support it? Uh, you see, that does support it, but I like the music. So are you supporting gun violence and gang violence by listening to that music? No, no, no. I'm not supporting the gun violence or gang violence. So do you, do you stream on Spotify or something or Apple Music? Spotify and YouTube. Okay, so by listening to those songs, you understand they get some money from that. So if they're getting money from from you listening, that allows them to continue to do more things about gun violence and gang violence. So are you supporting that? Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. Okay. What do you believe happens to you when you die? I think it, what happens is you're asleep. So you don't feel anything, you're just sleeping. But for eternity. For eternity? Yeah, that's it. So that's it? Yeah. That's it. So do you have to be good or bad on this earth? Does it matter? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? No, I don't believe in God, actually. Okay. So I think it's just a, a stage of sleep. Okay. That's for eternity. Okay. So then what's the point? Why not just murder everyone? Why not go into that school in Texas, right? And just murder them. Because there's consequences. You can go to jail. No, I kill myself. I'm going to go to sleep. You ever, I, I love sleep. Me too. Exactly. Yeah, but, no but there's consequences. If you kill yourself, then yes. But I have faith that I'm, I'm going to be alive for a long time. So I, don't, I don't think about it. You have faith in that? I have faith that I'm going to be alive for a long time. So I don't well, what, what gives you that faith? Believe it in God. So are you guys helping build the largest mosque in the country of Norway? Yes. I'm actually asking you, do you want to help build a dawah center and masjid in Norway? If so, secure your akhirah by clicking the link below and donate literally whatever you can. Join me and Islamnet as we make history building a one of its kind largest dawah center and masjid in the country of Norway together. So secure your akhirah by donating right now. Click the link and let's make it happen. So does living a long time mean that God loves you more not necessarily so there's, there's people who have their time on this earth to do what they got to do so you feel like until your mission is not complete it's not your time to go yet yes what's your mission i'm a rap artist spit a bar for us right now listen man what's what you're saying i ain't playing my name is adriano i'm on 42nd street walking to the beat watch your behavior i might be your savior maybe your knees change the flavor Ooh. <laughs> we, we cool we just neighbors okay I ain't your enemy but maybe we could be frenemies Ooh. i don't know about that but stay away from me you know what i'm saying stay away from him ladies and gentlemen man. what about death scares you uh a lot like i'm not gonna be able to see my loved ones mm -hmm. like my baby brother my baby sister did you know that one of the prayers supplications that the prophet muhammad used to make was asking the almighty to grant them a good death so you know how like you said that i don't want to die the wrong way this is a supplication a prayer that he used to make asking god to take him in a way that's pleasing to him did you know that no no do you think that's a good prayer for you to make yeah do you believe that you created yourself I don't actually. Okay. Do you believe someone created you? 
Yes, my dad. Your dad. So when you were in the belly of your mommy, hmm. right? He went in there with a microscope yeah. and some tweezers, made sure your heart was beating and everything. How did that happen? That's nature. 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 So nature just developed this idea that this is how we are going to be evolved into. Let me tell you a word, my friend. Go ahead. Evolution. So evolution is this idea that through messing up, through errors, you're able to perfect how it needs to be done. Correct. Does that make sense? Correct. So once upon a time, your eyes were not here. They were somewhere else. No, they weren't because I didn't exist. How did nature know that your eyes would be here and not on your why didn't nature select this to be better? Where is this at once upon a time and then somehow it came up over here? Why? You blew my f***ing mind. <laughs> I don't know what you yeah, Do yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm asking you? I understand that I... I how, di how did it know it had to be there? You actually blew my mind. I, I can't answer that. What's wrong with being gay? Because that's not how God intended us to be. Yes, he gave us free will, but in my interpretation of it, which might not be right, I acknowledge that. We were created in God's image. That's why God put man and woman on this earth. So do you believe God is a man? I believe God is an omnipotent being that takes whatever form he needs to appear. So God could be a man? God could be a man. God could be a woman. But would God be a man or a woman? I don't know. Mm. I can't answer that till I get to heaven. Mm. What's going on? Listen, 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 listen. I'm chilling, bro, but I don't know if I could be around someone so drippy like this. I mean, take a look at this. Allahumma barik. Mashallah barik. Mashallah barik. I know the vibes. Listen, talk to me, my friend. Okay, listen to me. Do you believe in religion? Yeah, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. So do you believe Jesus was God or do you believe he was sent by God? Nah, he's sent by God, bro. He was sent by God. Yeah. I believe the same thing. Yeah, bro. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He was sent by God to teach people how God wants to be worshipped. Definitely, bro. He died for us. For in our, uh, on the cross for our sins, for me. Okay. So chance. For our second chance. So do you believe that in order for God to give you a second chance, a murder needs to take place? No. No? Nah. So then why did he do that? Mm, because that's that was the only way, bro. The only so if, if by by the definition of God, and by the way, this would be play around, right? We right. we push thoughts, okay? Mm -hmm. So by that definition, you said that no, like that's not the only way, right? By the definition of God, there shouldn't be any limits on him. Nah, agree. Right? Shouldn't. His mercy and forgiveness needs to know no bounds. Yeah, it's absolutely. So yeah. So no one needs to die for his mercy or forgiveness so to why show. Did Jesus die for us? Then? That's that's a very good question. Yeah. Do you believe that the Bible is the word of God? I believe it is man's interpretation of the word of God. Wow. Okay. What well, do you believe that God would reveal a book? I believe that he reveals to us what we need to know to serve him. Shouldn't the book have certain qualities? Like the book shouldn't be altered or changed. I believe it should not be changed. Agreed, right? And the book should be preserved in the original language. Yes. Right? And the book should have been compiled in the life of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon it. Yes and no. Tell me more. So part of the Bible follows Jesus' life. Part of it follows the apostles and the Christian religion after Jesus is passing. If it's after Jesus, is that revelation? Define revelation. Revelation is the divine speech of God, meaning the way it was interpreted, it is said and it is written down. Yep. Not a word is changed. I believe it should be that way. Yeah. It should be that way, right? Let me give you the I ideal, the ideal utopia of what revelation should be, right? That whatever, when Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, was given revelation through the angel Gabriel, right? Through yeah. revelation angel, right? Every time he spoke, which was revelation, it was written down by people. I believe that's the way it should have been. It should have been, right? I so let's talk about how it should be, right? Word. Exactly. So let's talk about exactly that. We believe it should be word for word. Yes. Right? When revelation was given, it should be written down immediately. Yes. Right? Now, it should be compiled to the liking of how Jesus said it has to be compiled. Yes. Right? It should be preserved in the original language it was revealed in. Yes. And now, it should also be preserved through the end of time, meaning even now it should be the same. Yes. You understand? Nothing should be changed. I agree. If a word gets changed, it's no longer revelation. Exactly. You understand? It should stand the test of time. Yes. Right? It should be preserved in the real language. Hell, how about this? Let me give you an, uh, Let me give you even a further stretch, right? But couldn't the same be said about any religion's holy book? Yes, this is what my point is, right? So let's go to this in our perfect checklist of what the Bible should be, right? Let's push it further. How about this? What if this book is memorized by millions of people? So that if some corrupt person came to try to change it, people would be like, uh-uh, that's not what it says. We've all memorized it. I believe that's how it should be. That's how it should be, right? We know, unfortunately, the Bible is not that way, correct? It is not. Do you know what book is? No, I do not. I'm guessing it's the Quran. My friend, 
This is something that you need to do more research on, my friend. The Holy Quran. Everything that you said needs to be checked is, is checked in this. Are you afraid of dying? Is that I'm scary? not afraid of dying. Tell me more. I live forever. Allah lives forever, After but we omega. don't. Okay. So do we live forever? The black man lives forever. We are from the beginning to the end. Okay. So indeed, we be Allah. So you're saying you are Allah? I'm saying that I am Allah. Stop it. So you're saying you're God? True sure, indeed, I am God. Get some help. Okay, so how can God die? If you, your physical body can die and leave, can God die? My ancestors live forever. Okay. We was here from the beginning. Sure. And we're still here. Mm -hmm. So a lot never dies. Okay, but you as a person, right, your physical being, not your ancestors, not the memory, not the history, but you or your physical body, does that die? The physical body may die, but I will live forever here on, okay. here on this earth. Do you understand that Allah means the worship one and the one who has no partners and the one who's ever living? No, Allah doesn't mean that. Allah means, what does it mean? Um, Allah means the original black man, the maker, the owner. What? So do you believe Allah is black? I believe that Allah is the black man, true indeed. So Allah, so God is the black man? God is a black man. So if you are black, that means you are divine? That means that I'm very divine. Okay, just for being black? Just for being black. Do you feel like that's racist? No, it's not racist. Do you think that's God picking a race over any other race? No, he's not. If you're saying God is black and that means black is divine, that means you've said that black is the best race and the highest race. Of course, we're the cream of the planet Earth. Okay, so wouldn't that be unfair and unjust on God's end to make one race better than the other? No, it's not unjust. Tell me more. No, it's not just because everything came after us. Okay. Again, going back to the question, sir. If you're saying that Allah is black, God is black, divine divinity is black, does that mean that black is the chosen race? No, what I'm saying is it's black or the Alpha and Omega. We're the first and we will be the last. I am not a spiritual being. Okay. I'm a physical being. Everything that was taught to me through the Father was taught through mathematics. So you were taught? Sure indeed. So how? I know I was taught. Sure. So by the definition of God, God needs to know everything. So by that definition, if God knows everything, how could God be taught and you claim to be God when God has to know everything by default? We spent trillions and trillions of years looking for that mystery God, and we find that the true and living God is the son of man. God can't be a human being though. God is a human being. It's impossible. Man, he's a it's supreme impossible. being. But that's impossible. Go back and look up the word supreme being. What do you get? Supreme a man, a black man is God. Let me ask you a quick question, my friend. To me. Do, 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 you, do you believe that God could be a man? I believe God is more than a man. He is okay. a force. He's an entity. Ask me this question. Is God a spirit dude? God, it's not about a spirit. It could be an energy. It's something well, that it's beyond. Energy, yeah. Okay, so I have to explain, right? So God cannot be a physical being. Because physical beings have limits to time. You can die. The fact that you can die makes you not a god. Because by definition, God can't die. He always has to exist and he can never die. He can't get tired. He doesn't have to use the bathroom. So the fact that you even have to have those desires to use the bathroom, those physical limitations, you cannot be God. You have an expiration date. God can't have an expiration date. To think that a race is better than another race shows that God has preferred a race over others. And that means he's unjust. By definition, God can't be unjust. No black man is better than a white man. No Arab is better than a white man or a black man or any race. Everyone in the sight of Allah, in sight of God, is equal. What separates us is our actions. Actions in praying towards Him in His obedience. Why that, should I pray to God when I am God? You see, and that's the idea that doesn't make sense. Do you believe that one race is better than another? Absolutely not. Well, it can't be like that. That's not the way it is. Why not? Because, yo, we are all equal. We are all equal. That's my brother, too. We but he all, claims to be all, God, but he's God. Yo, we are all equal in God's eyes. But he believes but, he's better. But also, but also, we are all gods ourselves. We And he has a point, like, bro, we are godly ourselves. So you are created in God's image. What does that mean? So, what is the image to you? That's a good question, right okay. back at you. Okay, as Muslims, we understand that to be true as well too. But what does that mean? Does that mean that God has two eyes, two eyes, he has a nose, we have a nose, ears, fingers, is that what it means?
Or does the image mean that God has certain qualities? So we understand this. When Adam was created from the clay, that's how we believe, right? Adam was made, he was the first human being, right? He was the first creation made. Absolutely. Okay? And God made him, when you say the image, right, of Adam was in the best of forms, in the best of manners. This is what we understand. And he blew, blew the breath into Adam, which caused him to be alive. Okay, now. That breath contains things which a person might think means the soul. A lot of times people misunderstand that to be, oh, that's the image. So that means that we have divinity in us. That's the breath of God in us. Therefore, we are the sun. So we all have those souls in us. What we understand that to be is the following, okay? Allah, that means God's name. God is a man-made word. Okay, that's why a lot of people believe God is a man-made concept because God is a man-made word because the that shows masculine connotations. Do you understand? God has a masculine tone to it because there's a feminine to it. It means goddess. The name of God as he revealed himself to all of the messengers is Allah. Okay, L-L-A-H. Have you heard of the same before? Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. So Allah literally means the worshipped one. One, not partners, not cousins, not sons, not daughters. He is one and alone in his sovereignty and his majesty. He has no partners. He does not need to consult. You see, if you had partners, that means you have a board of directors. That means before I make a decision, I got to tell, hey, what do you think about that? Okay. What do you think about that? Okay, there's a board of directors. Allah is sovereign. He is the almighty, the, the exactly, sovereign. you understand? Absolutely. He does not have the need to have, because he, he doesn't need, you understand? No. The fact that he, if you attribute something of the creation to him shows he has needs he doesn't and by definition God can't have certain things you understand like like God can't use the bathroom you understand like you, you, yes. but people might say well God could do anything no because God doesn't do certain things because it goes against his traits his qualities okay so what does it mean to have the image of God? You see, Allah means the worshipped one. It means the, your creator, your sustainer, your provider, your nourisher, your cure, everything from that perspective, God. okay? Now, he is Al-Ghafoor, meaning he is the one who forgives the sins. He is Ar-Rahman, he is the one who is the most merciful. Okay, now, if you, so, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, he has 99 attributes that he's mentioned to human beings and there's others. We have, he is the absolute merciful, meaning we have limits to our mercy. You might do something to me and I might forgive you because I have some mercy and I have forgiveness qualities, but I'm not the absolute forgiving, I'm not the absolute merciful because I have limits. There's limits to how much I can forbear. There's only limits to how much I can forgive, you understand? He has no limits, he is the absolute. So when he blew the soul into Adam, we have those qualities, but we don't have the absolute qualities. So we believe that in the image of God means the qualities that God has. The forgiving, the merciful, al wadu the loving. We have qualities of love in us, but we don't have absolute qualities of love. If you want to learn, if you want to understand, and you're coming and having this conversation, it's because Allah knows what's in your hearts. He knows your sincere intentions, and He wants you to learn more. Have you ever read the Quran before? Uh, no. Is that um, something that you always like try to look absolutely. at? Absolutely. I study for uh, religion. I study philosophy. Philosophy of religions. Islam, Judaism, Christianity, absolutely. Beautiful. You know. What about you, my friend? You've heard of the Quran before? I've heard of the Quran. I've never read it personally because I was just raised by Christians, Jehovah Witnesses specifically. Wow. But I, honestly, I never agreed with them, so I grew up the black sheep of my family. However, I always found an attraction to being able to understand everyone's beliefs, not just the beliefs of what my family imposed sure. me. Sure. That is why I'm able to walk around and agree with a gentleman as yourself that Allah is the one, Allah is the one that forgives and loves. We believe in all those things. We even believe in Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. But Isa, we do not, Isa. Isa, we do not, oh, mashallah. You see, but we do not attribute more than he ever attributed to himself. You see? He never said he was, yeah, he never said any of that. He there never was a prophet. I hear you. I hear you see, you. and you know what? And if we say that he did, you know what that means? That means he is the only one out of all the messengers of God who said something different. You understand? Because everyone was in the alignment except him. What are you saying? Like you're saying something different. You're calling yourself a God. He never claimed that. He, he never, never claimed. claimed he never claimed exactly. that. Now, so my bro, I have a copy of the Quran for you. For okay, me? have it's for you, Thank my you. friend, my brother, my brother. Good may, may Allah bless you. Here you go. Here's a copy for the Quran as well. You wanted this? Absolutely, I needed it. This is an English translation of the Holy Quran. This is the final revelation that was given to the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, this is not so that you can convert. Let me be clear. People watching, people watching here. It's not so you can convert. I don't care about that. It's so that you can learn more about who you are. 
You understand? You're 15 years old today. Yeah. Right? And that's a beautiful thing. And we want you to live for a longer life in a way that's pleasing to the Creator. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Yeah? You believe in God, yes? And that's hard to find these days. The fact that you believe in God. Have you ever asked God for guidance? Yeah. Maybe this is His way of giving it to you. Right? Yo. Don't love bless you, my friend. To be on this microphone, to talk on this camera. God sent me, man. The Quran, Allah sent me. God bless. I appreciate you all. Keep listening, you man. Already you already, you already know. You already know. Vasha, bro. May Allah bless you, my guy. May Allah bless you. For real. For real. Real talk. Join me and IslamNet as we make history building a one of its kind largest Dawa center and masjid in the country of Norway together. So secure your akhirah by donating right now. Click the link and let's make it happen. Guys, we came through, did some street Dawa, got some cool, interesting ideas, thoughts, conversations. Make sure you like this video as well too. And uh, that's about it. Come here, Thaw, don't go nowhere. He helped a lot too. Shout out to them. Shout out to all my camera people. <laughs> Seriously, guys, we can't do it without them. Street Dawa coming away. Stay subscribed and all that good stuff. Any thoughts, ideas, comments in the section below. But we're out of here, guys. MashaAllah, Barakallah.